How you doing guys? This is Hybrid Steel. Welcome to Brew Pub Simulator. And today I'm I've been I've been a little bit busy. You know, we've got a bit of money behind us now, which is nice. I'm just slowly ramping up the, the looks of the place. And so I've put in the lights. We've got some more lights outside. Obviously, I mean, it's looking a little bit pretty. Still using the basic plastic furniture out here because I think as it's all weather furniture, it actually works, which is all right. I don't like the fact that it's blue, but it works. Uh, we put in our pool table. We have a pool table. I put these, like, standing tables in as well. I'm not sure if they're going to be, like, good for people. Maybe. I don't know. Not sure how they're going to be used, but we'll figure it out as we go. Apparently, it's a bit janky when you get near a wall but yeah so they've got a pool table you can put your beers on the side as well it's all right i put these light sort of pop things up above the windows i think they look cool that's just me and uh yeah we've we've just been sort of like just adding bits and pieces here and there so i did put in my two new racks so if i put beers in here this is literally for this shank which is good we've got nine liters left of schnuckle pits which is or schnuckle butts sorry and now I just need to put another beer in because I always carry two. Always. Now, this it has sort of come to my like attention with this that when it comes to putting the beers on, people get a bit picky, right? Your customers are going to be like, well, I want one of these beers. It's, it's, sometimes it can't happen. That's just the way it Say is, unfortunately. My friend. And uh, unfortunately, people give you a, a naff review. So Bradley Welsh and Schnuckleputz are up there, which is good. And the reason why they'll give you a bad review is, number one, it comes down to the first sort of like initial get into your bar. And what you'll find is people have to wait a little while to get in. And the reason why is because when they first come here, there's like 50 other people waiting to get on the bar. So it does take a little bit of time to get through. Now, the, again, your bartender can do a certain amount of job, but you can you can jump in as well. So, the idea is on that first initial push, try and help out. You know, this way you always have two beers. Just have two or three, three at max. If someone comes in, they go want want one of these, and your your barman's doing it. It's all good. But if you're here and they want the other one, use the other one. Get clear the people as much as possible sometimes it's actually best to stand behind your bartender and any customer comes up and goes oh I want this bit but you don't do it quickly nab them and get rid of them before obviously you're gonna ditch out and lose so that's my few little tips I've sort of come up with so far the main reason why most of you are probably here though is because of the brand new beer that we have to create for the uh, email which is a lager a supreme lager we would be delighted to include your most fancy lager in our testing session. Our beer club is currently exploring local lager varieties this month, and we are eager to sample your finest creation in this style. Thank you in advance for consideration our request. We look forward to experiencing the craftsmanship of your beer. Best regards, Maxime Tapito, head of the Beer Enthusiasts Club. Now, we have to make a lager of 9 litres. So here we go. We're going to make a, a 10 litre beer. Now I'm not going to accept this mission until I've actually made the lager and sort of tested out the recipe because it's going to take me a little bit of time to do this. The reason why is because, well, technically I suck at doing this sort of thing anyway. So, lager, here we are. Oh, my beer is not fa Okay, so that must have been a bronzen. After all that effort, man. Oh, that sucks. Anyways, I think I know exactly where I went wrong. I didn't make it with enough flavour. Alright? Obviously. So... I'm going to have to brew another one. That's that's just going to annoy me a little bit. I'd say a little bit. And the reason why is because I, I stupid it up. Which means everybody in the comment section is probably sitting there going, Well, you did it wrong! And then, you know, get your keyboard warriors out. Excellent. Let's do this. Okay. I need to build a proper fancy lager. I need it to be... I'm probably going to go for sweet on this. So I need strawberry. So I'm going to have cocoa. What would be another good one? A sweetener would be like strawberry. What about a strawberry mint chocolate? I know it sounds a bit weird, but it might actually work. Let me just go up to the locker and then we'll order up all the ingredients we're going to need for this. So let me just pull up this. All right, this might do it. This might just do it. But then I've got to skip four days. Thankfully, my staff aren't employed. Right, lager. Oh my God, I've got all these new ones. Whoa. Okay, we're I'm I I've got a hazy IPA. 
Wow. Okay, I've got sh I've got stuff to do, man. Right, Imperial. St oh, that sounds good. Like the next level of difficulty, hazy. If you want to see any of these being made, by the way, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Right. First off, unpin that. Secondly, pin the lager. Pin the lager. Cool. Eleven liters of water. We need our big. Oh no. Let me just put all my stuff back first. If only there was a way of locking things down, that would help so much. Right, so I need my big pot. We need 11 litres of water. Yeah, I stuffed up on it. All right, 11 litres of water. Oh, oh, suit you, sir, 11.02. Inventory, light malt. We need 1,700. Oh, yeah, actually, I did buy two of these, so that's okay. Excellent, 1,500. In the corner with you. And then we need, like, two, on, uh, two out of this. So, 100 mils. One, two, boom. Shanker. Next, we need four grams of magnum hops. One, two, three, four. Excellent. And then we need to boil this mole trucker until there's nothing left. And it's just a tarry mess at the bottom of my pot. Well, mainly, actually, just wait until it's a lager. So, what I stuffed up on this before was I didn't add anything to make it fancy. I just made a good quality brew. That was the problem. I mean, it came up as bronze and not gold. There is a subtle difference. One of them looks bronze. The other one looks amazing. I need my lager beer. Lager and beer. I need 10 mil of this crud in my doodles. Wait until it hits 21 degrees. Skadoosh. There we go. So 10 mil. Stick this in here. Excellent. All right, stick my cooking pot down there. Grab, actually, I want to grab the ch cocoa, 10 mil or 10 grams, depending on how you're looking at this. I'm going to add mint into this as well. It's going to be a bit of a weird one because it's going to be chocolate, mint and berry, which, I mean, it could work. I mean, it, it, it might be sweet enough. It might be good. And then we need to pop this in the fridge for four days and then leave it in there. It's all right. And then I'm going to put all my ingredients on the shelf because, well, we need to. And it just means I know where everything is. And then I'm gonna I've gotta skip four days. That just se it seems a bit wasteful, but I don't have anything else I can do. I'm literally out of beer. Like I've run out. Uh, I've made a decent amount of money off of it, which is good. The downside is I'm gonna have to make five more beers to get to that much money again. Which, you know, I mean in the end of all days it's not that bad. I the amount of like yeast you need just to get through it all is ridiculous but i have got more beers now i can make more money out of and that's where i'm looking at now because i i mean i didn't even know i had a, ha a hazy ipa i'm gonna give this one a go i really want to get i think that's gonna be in my next video we're gonna give the hazy a go because i reckon that's gonna be that's gonna be complicated but fun so what i want to do is i want to get all my stuff boiled up and ready to go and then we'll go from there um i need to skip four days fun and games for the whole family uh, let me just skip four days. See you in a second. I really, really wish there was a bloody skip button though, because this is horrible. I don't like being horrible to my customers. You know, they don't get to come into the bar and experience it. They just get to see the close sign as soon as they turn up to the front door. Guarantee they all sit there and just go, "Well, he's a pain in the ass. This guy. He keeps opening the bar. I never quite make it inside started. the door." At least we're making it look like a bar now. I mean, it does look nice in here. It looks better than it used to. Hit the button. Day three of skipping the game. Yeah, I love the smell of beer in the morning. Just we haven't got any. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is day four. We gotta skip this. Skip the last day, and we should be okay. I say should. Please let this one be it. I don't want to do this again because, like, skipping this many days sucks balls if you haven't got anything to do. Right, please let this be the one. Well, it's saving. Three, five. Uh, is this a gold star? I mean, it's got to be fancy. It's got three bloody loads in it. And we'll call this one Evo Sparks because we failed last time. Evo Sparks, my competition beer. Hopefully, this is fancy enough. I've got to skip another day, though. That's going to balls. I don't like this. Like, skipping sucks. Suck, 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 sucks. Right, let me get my pipe. Stick it in my pipe and smoke it. I'm going to shut the door and just leave my container in there. Like, it's a chilled beer. It's, oh, no. I've got to accept the mission. <laughs> I keep forgetting to accept. Go in. 
Go in. Go in, Evo Sparks. You're in. Congratulations. Right, hopefully this will work. I'm crossing my fingers now because I don't want to do this again. Good for you. I love the smell of money, but we haven't got any. Well, we have, but... God damn it, press the button! Please be fancy enough. I am pleased to inform you that your beer was exceptional and deserves the title of Lager Master. Your craftsmanship and dedication truly stood out among the entries. As a token of our appreciation, we are awarding you with a prize of $200 for your outstanding achievement. Oh, I feel very, very posh right now. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's ever said that. <laughs> Excellent. I feel posh. That's good. Oh, oh, suit you, sir. Suit you a lot, sir. All right, cool. That's fantastic. We won the competition. We got $200. I'm all happy. Right, unknown. I had a bar across from yours, but I kept seeing them everywhere. So I fled that place. The worst one was who wears the masks. It's evident that there's something to hide. Ex everything fits together in a coherent more. Yo, co it is coherent. In a coherent whole. Do you think the Roswell incident was a coincidence? No. It was all for one several ships that are flying into California for our beer! Contest in Chocolate Factory. Dear sir or madam, I am writing to inquire about the possibility of creating a custom beer for my gift basket. I would like to request a wheat beer with vanilla, chocolate, and cinnamon flavor. As for the quantity, 9 liters should be sufficient. I appreciate your attention to the ma this matter and look forward to hearing from you soon. Your best regards, Charlie Burton, the CEO of Chocolate Factory Incorporated. It must be a wheat beer, vanilla, chocolate, cinnamon flavors. Three, oh great, fuck, well, we'll do that another day. I'm not doing another one just now, but what I need to do is I need to make a shed ton of cash, right? Obviously, that's a big thing. Money, money, more money. <laughs> and if I can make more, more, more money, then we can decorate more and more and more of the bar and go up levels. And that's where I need to be. So let me just check out this new beer because he wants me to make a specific chocolatey beer. It's a wheat beer. It's this beer. Pin this beer. I need to, I need to read the recipe for this. Okay, so this is a wheat beer. A fermentation of two days, so pretty quick. That's pretty cool. Light malt extract, white wheat. Lovely. Uh, cascade, pretty simple. That's a pretty simple recipe. I like this. 11 litres of water. Play, it's a place on the stove. Add 1.2 litres of light malt extract. That's fine. 1.2 kilograms of white wheat. That's fine. Add 8 kilograms of cascade hops to the mixture. It will impact beer's bitterness. That's okay. After boiling for 30 minutes, add 4 grams of cascade hops. It will add flavour to the beer. After 30 minutes, turn off the stove and wait until the mixture cools down to room temperature. Add 10 ml of yeast. So, okay, what I'm gathering here, when it says after boiling for 30 minutes, add 4 grams. I have to, I do, I'm, I'm going to try this twice because I'm going to have to do one with 30 and then I'm going to have to do it like, is it going to work? I mean, if it doesn't work, then I'm going to try it. So what I will do is I will have a little mess around and experiment with this, but we'll be all right. So the next thing I want to do, if I'm going to be honest, is I need to brew up a load of beers. I mean, I've got five empty containers, well, six empty containers ready to go. Um, so what I'm going to do with this one, this is going to be a massive APA because that's what I always do with the foot with the 50 kilo. That's going to be a massive APA. That's what that big thing is there. I've got to get another two kegs so then we can fill five beers. And then it just means I've got two beers each day. What normally happens is that the APA lasts a couple of days. With I burn through these, I make a ton of money. Last time I did six beers, we made seventeen hundred dollars. That's well, fifteen hundred. Um, plus uh, with the expenses of the staff over like three, four days, I spent four hundred dollars on staff. I would have had, I don't know, about eighteen hundred, nineteen hundred by now. But with the staff expenses and bringing them money in, it's all good. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and brew up some beers. We're going to do another. We're going to. Uh, there'll be another video coming out very soon. It'll be me just making money again, and then we'll attempt one of the. Uh, well, we'll attempt the competition beer. I also want to give the hazy beer a go, so that might be a separate video. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But until then, thank you very much for kicking by. This has been Hybrid Steel. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I will be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else I do on the channel. Until then, peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do. Bye bye for now.